Hey everyone, I'm Joey Lancianis from Dick's Sporting Goods and we are here in beautiful Louisville, Kentucky at the home of the Louisville Slugger Wood Bat Factory and Museum. We got a fun one. Our partners with Slugger are giving us an all access exclusive behind the scenes tour of their historic museum and their Wood Bat Factory that's making some of the best bats used by the biggest names in the major leagues today. More than 135 years of experience, heritage and culture with the Slugger brand. Guys, it's a beautiful day to talk some baseball. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Mike Butler, who's the product line manager for Louisville Slugger. Mike is going to give us an all-access, behind-the-scenes exclusive tour of how an MLB Prime bat is made. So the first half happens up at the mills where we cut down the trees, turn these into billet form, and this is what we get up from our mills in billet form. So we've got these big bundles of wood that come in birch, maple, and ash, which is what our MLB Prime bats are made up of. We're going to take these and we're going to go off to the weigh-off station over to the next part of the process, which we're going to start weighing, ink dotting, and turning these into finished form. Lead the way, man. Let's All go. Right. Making batch for Christian <laughs> Yellich right there. So this is where we weigh off all of our bats. This doesn't necessarily mean that the lighter, the heavier is going to give you a lighter or heavier bat. It just means there's different densities of wood that's going to create different turning models within our CNC machines. So as we come back over here to the CNC machine, there's a couple of really important features and, and, and things happening over Goggle here. Up. The first thing is the ink dot. So as you notice on all of these billets over here, we've ink dotted all of these billets. This is what MOB requires for any MOB wood bats to have. Maple and birch are going to have a visible ink dot, while ash is not going to, because you can already see the grain of wood in an ash bat. So that ink dot is basically your stamp of approval. Yeah, this, is, a, this is our MLB stamp of approval that it's a good piece of lumber. It's going to be durable and hold up to some of the harshest pitch speeds from all those uh, pro guys out yeah. there. So now we come over here. Yeah. Louisville Slugger's got about 8,000 different turning models. So this machine is very important to us. As you can see, this machine carves out all of our MLB prime bats into its finished form. Have a take a peek at that. Awesome. Look at that. We're going to have a finished bat there almost. From a hunk of wood to that classic bat figure that we all know and love. That's great. Now we're going to turn right back around here. We're going to go over to the sanding machine and get the bat prepped for color. Let's do it. You saw the nubs of the bats. You got the ink dot on here. The next part of the process, they're going to throw this bat into this sander machine that's going to cut off the nubs of the bat. And they're going to sand it down on the end so that we can put some different uh, touches onto the bat to get it ready and prep for color. Cool. And it's going to be nice and smooth, ends cut off. You've almost got a finished bat ready for color. Ooh, there we go. And as you can see, the ink dot is still visible on there. Before we put it in for color, we're going to put a little sticker over that so we don't lose that. We always want to make sure that ink dot's visible on our prime bats. Gotcha. The next part of the process, we're going to come over here. We're going to put it in our bone rub machine. So this is our bone rub machine. We're going to really, the big part of this bone rub machine is we want to close in those grains. The big thing about a wood bat, Everyone always asks me, is it's a piece of wood, what can you really do to make it better? Well, part of it is making it super hard, and bone rubbing your bats is going to close in those grains, really get them tightened in there, and close it up. So this is, this is right before we're going to put in the bone rub machine, and that's what this process is right here. Now, getting it kind of tight and sharp, like, is that, just, is that for durability? Is that for power? Is that like, what would that really do? It is, we're talking more so the guts of the wood yeah, inside, Yeah, that's right? right. So if you really close in those grain structures and tighten them up, you're gonna really compress the wood and make it really hard and tight in there. So gotcha. yeah. And Mike, you mentioned those those big leaguers, they really love a stiff hard bat oh, right yeah. now. They That's want what it, they request from yeah, you guys. They want it super hard. They want that that super hard bat so that they can trust it's gonna perform at a high level for them. And confidence is half the battle when That's you're in right. the plate too. So if they can rely on their slugger bat, they're good to go. That's right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So the next part of the process before we go into color is if the bat has a little bit of burn or flame on it. We got fire, we got fire. This is the first part of the process for color. So some of our most popular models with Dick's Sporting Goods, the Patriot, the High Roller, get a flamed out handle. So this really highlights some of the grain structure, gives it that really cool wood quality feature to it. And most of our bats have a nice medium burn in there. We yeah. can go light, dark, medium. Most of them are a nice medium burn, and that's what this is right here. And as innovative as the technology has gotten to make a wood bat, we saw the first machine kind of carve it out in 30 seconds, like we talked about, yeah. as opposed to back in the day. But this kind of gives it that old school natural nostalgic look, right? That's just, right. This is that this is that Roy Hobbs Wonder Boy. Like I just carved it out of a tree, and I'm gonna go hack. That's right. That's right. That's I, awesome. I, I love the burn brand. It really highlights some of those grains. And this is a maple bat right here. But you'll notice when we go into ash bats, ash bats have a really cool grain structure that pop out the grains even more when you burn brand it. That's awesome. Perfectly toasted. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so now we're gonna roll in here where bats are getting prepped for color. Let's go. He's going to take it off here, which you just saw the last process. The burn brand, put it up there, get some color on. 
gonna hang up there and it's gonna dry for a couple of hours. After they've been fully dried, we're gonna put some decals on. Cool. So this is our decal station over here. We pride ourselves on having some really cool, innovative, seamless decals where the decals are really thin. We put them on underneath the top coat so they never come off the bat. It's something that uh, back in the day we, put, we would put stickers on the bat, they would peel off, it would look like you know the bat had been worn and it didn't have that pristine look. We pride ourselves on every bat that gets hit, has a little bit of game use, still looks the same from when you bought it. That's awesome. We've got some really cool new machines and new top coats we're using on our MLB Prime bats this year. Our Exo Pro finish is two to three times harder than our old Exo Armor finish that we put on our old Prime bats. Really trying to improve our bat from year to year and making sure that it's the best possible bat we can put out there. You can see these bats right here. These are getting the final top coat. So yeah. this is our Exo Pro top coat we're putting on here right now. These, these spigots are still turning at 360 degrees, so you get a nice, even finish. So these guys are kind of giving it that classic glossy finish and that shine that we yep. see on the field. Yeah, so this is gonna really lock in the details, lock in the color, really tie it all together. And then after this, we're gonna go out and buff the bats to give it that nice, shiny feature. Well, let's go buff, let's all right. do it. So this is after the bat has been top coated, we got the color, we've got all the decals on, we got the top coat, the Exo Pro top coat, locking it all in, and then we're gonna come over here. You still here. see that ink dot always still showing? Still see that ink dot. So yeah, after we put the color on there, we take that off, the top coat actually goes over it, so that part of the bat feels nice and smooth as cool. well, and there's not any bare wood showing. Cool. This is what gets it really nice and shiny. You can see that Prime, Prime logo on there. All of our bats have the Prime logo with the MLB Batterman. With us being the official bat of Major League Baseball, we really pride ourselves on putting that logo on all of our MLB Prime bats. So he's going to buff that out, as you can see. Put a lot of pride in making sure these are nice and shiny. A lot of these processes here take some, a little bit of time, so we put a little bit of extra care into yeah. our MLB Prime bats. Man, I feel like I just got a car wash. I mean, yeah, this is great. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm ready to show it off. This is awesome. There you go. Oh, look at that shine. Look at the way it kind of picks up the reflection. All that. Yeah, so we got, this is one of our most popular models being the high roller. You got that really cool dark flame coming through into a distressed black colorway with gold branding. Really classic, but kind of modern look to it, and that's why we do so well with this model. So this last part of the process is really cosmetic, but as we've seen with every other part of the process, every part of the bat has been treated with some way, shape, or form, so we want to make sure the knob gets the same effort and and look as the rest of the bat and really ties it together. So the knob medallion is going to be embedded here into the, into the base of the knob. So we're going to carve out a really, really slight notch in the knob and then we're going to inlay the medallion. You got the prime stamp of approval, our logo, the length, the type of species of wood it is, and this is just going to go into the knob of the bat. Going to give it a really cool, nice look on, on the shelf of Dick's Sporting Goods and make sure it really shines and people like to, you know, want to pick it up and see what yeah. it's all about. So I'm going to let you put the, the stamp of approval on this bad boy. Oh, man. Here we go, a little finishing touch. I don't know, that looks pretty darn good. There we go. Looks good to me. That's that last step. Now this guy's ready to go out and hack. This is ready to go, so we're going to pack it up and ship it out. Love that. All right, so we're ready to go to ship this bad boy. Let's do it. Let's put it on a truck. We're ready to go. Let's go. Now this has gone through all the process. We've weighed it out, we've turned it, we've sanded it, we've cupped it out, we've put color and top coat and decals on. Got the nice buffing on there to give it its shine. The knob medallion with uh, the 30 day limited warranty. We're gonna ship it out to our warehouse so it can get off to Dick's Sporting Goods. You sure I can't keep this one, Mike? You know what, that's gotta go to a loyal customer of Dick's Sporting Goods. There you go, guys. man, a future Hall of Famer right there. There you have it, guys. The full steps of the process from tree to bat, how an MLB Prime bat is made. Christian Yelich, Cody Bellinger, some of the biggest names in the pros using bats, and you can find them at Dick's Sporting Goods as well. Mike, thanks so much for your time, yeah. man. This was incredible, and I'll never forget it. I appreciate no it. No problem. Welcome back anytime. Thanks for showing us.